a Finnish Minister of the Interior, who found herself in the dock at Helsinki District Court on charges of violating the equality and dignity of homosexuals. Uh, what exactly did the accused do? Well, she quoted the Bible. And by putting her on trial, the Finnish state seemed to be saying that Christian scripture is potentially criminal, and if you quote it, you could be jailed. Well, Pivey Rasanen is back with us, and uh, congratulations, Pivey, because you beat the rap, you were acquitted of the charge, and uh, I guess uh, that's good news, but uh, how are you holding up after this legal ordeal? Yes, uh, I have to say that I'm very uh, thankful and relieved now. I got yesterday uh, the outcome of the Helsinki District Court and uh, they acquitted all of my three charges. Uh, and um, this has been a long process. It has lasted almost three years. Uh, mm. It has been quite hard. But at the same time, I feel that it has been uh, my calling and my privilege to defend freedom of speech and freedom of religion. So I think that these discussions have been very important in, in the Finnish society. Are you worried, though, because you're a very tough and resilient person, as you say, it consumed three years of your life. Anyone who has ever been in any long-running uh, legal battle knows that the process is the punishment, that you may eventually yes. win three, five, seven, twelve years down the ro road, but you'll never get that, that portion of your life back. Are you worried that a lot of people, uh, a lot of your fellow Finns and a lot of other people will be just thinking, oh, well, look, uh, that poor woman got dragged into court for three years. Maybe I should just keep quiet and not quote that particular passage and, uh, uh, and, 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 and maybe just be a little more subdued about uh, quoting scripture in public. Are you worried that uh, there will be the so-called chilling effect at which you win your victory but a thousand other people fall silent. Yes, you are, you are absolutely right. And I have been worried just about uh, this because uh, the process in itself has been like some kind of punishment. I have uh, been sitting in several interrogations of the police Altogether, 13 hours in, in police station, interrogated about my religious views mm. and my faith. Uh, the Bible on the table and police asking me, what do you mean by the concept like sin or shame? And what does the letter mm. to Romans uh, mean to you? And, mm. and so on. But um, at the same time, I believe that... Um, the outcome of the district court is, is it is uh, an encouragement to Christians and to all people to use their rights and, and their freedoms.